Well, here we are up in the stock house again. The last time we had the luxury of doing it was uh, for our live performance that we put out on St. Patrick's Day, and that in itself was an amazing, it blew us away here because we didn't realise, and, and, and it's, it's naivety on our part, 125,000 engagements from around the world. You guys have been everywhere. But unfortunately, you couldn't be anywhere. I suppose the only plus you got during lockdowns was when you were supposed to stay in your own county, you didn't have to put up with Andreas <laughs> from up in Cavan. But how was it for you, Dan? Nice. <laughs> how are you today? <laughs> well, you know, Vic, we're very positive and we create our own little bubble. And uh, that's what we did. And um, but like for musicians, performers, it was a horrendous time because I think uh, for the first couple of months it wasn't too bad. We all were able to focus uh, and to uh, do things, but then it went on a bit too long. Yeah. And uh, it was, uh, for a lot of people, particularly for young people, it became uh, indeed a tie down and it had a, an effect mentally on a lot of, of young people because it just went on too long and dealing with it. Uh, but there's a positive side and the positive side for us was that we uh, had time to do all the things that we had no time to do. Yes, yeah, I understand. Uh, on the road you can't do certain things, you can't record, you can't write songs, you can't uh, compose, you can't create. Um, so the, during the lockdown we got the opportunity to record, to do videos, and uh, we brought uh, Andreas down from Cavan, and he I took a hold. Uh, you know, <laughs> the, yeah, and no we got, I, I gave him permission to travel because I seen that, uh, that if you were walking and you had a, a, a reason to walk, we could do videos. So we and Milo uh, gave up his apartment in Dublin, and he came to live with us. Yes. Okay. God love us. Yeah. 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 He's thriving. He's thriving. Yeah. He's thriving. Yeah. Yeah. And he was well fed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, uh, you know, that's the, on the positive side, we got um, Damaris went back teaching on, online and, uh, and she was able to create, uh, you know, um, uh, uh, and c keep in contact with the people. We started a Zoom yeah. on, uh, the, I think, around the 10th of April uh, last year. I see. And, and last Friday week, nights. we did our 57th Zoom. We missed a couple of weeks due to um, failure of our technicians. Uh, <laughs> to, uh, I love the way he went. He looked that direction. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, come here. I've been watching these on a, on, a, on a Friday night. Like I mean, obviously, and this is revolutionary. You know, necessity is the mother of invention. But you guys were going out regular and again reaching out to the to to a massive diaspora uh, with your Zoom uh, concerts on Friday nights, and that that in itself was a leader. But now we can continue that here in Stockhouse, because what we'll do, we're going to do what, 13 weeks? Yep. Yes. 13 weeks of live music, and according as we're able to, we can live stream it out here now to our outdoor dining, but as soon as we're able to go indoors, we'll have folks socially distance, of course, but back in, and we'll follow restrictions, but we'll get live music back on the road with that, and we have the help of the, the, the live, uh, live music uh, support scheme uh, come on board, which is good. For, for everybody in the industry that's involved in it, you guys, ourselves, and our production crew here, Darren, is, 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 is just a, mar a marriage made in heaven as far as we're concerned. But we are delighted to be involved in helping to bring the music back because an awful lot of industries suffered throughout this, but none, none more so than the music industry. And you know, you're very lucky uh, in that sense that you have a very positive attitude. A lot of venues that are, um, uh, around the world and around America now that we play to, unfortunately, won't reopen. And that's the, the, the reality of a, a lot of businesses just weren't able to survive during the... Uh, the um, and they, like, as you probably know, I mean, uh, our business is totally dependent on uh, support, mm. you know, uh, support from the audiences, and um, we, it, we not having a live audience was uh, taken away uh, the the majority of our, uh, our reach, yeah. you know. So we had to go on to Zoom because we knew we wouldn't get much help from radio in Ireland, mm. you yeah. know, they don't play our uh, sounds. Yeah. So we had to reach out, which we did, and um, thanks to the Maris. 
and the Milo, they were able to technically do, uh, talk to Mr. Zoom, and Mr. Zoom says, go, fire away. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Absolutely, yeah. we, um, we, every week uh, we had up to like uh, 30,000 people watching us around the world, which is great. And um, we were able to, you know, keep in contact with Airbase. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. And as well as that, like people could go back and see it. And it's also a living record of um, how, um, you know, performers and musicians cope during the. the yeah. Well, that's that's a big thing too, because it's not just it's not profession. It's a, it's 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 music is in you. It's mm -hmm. it's it's a passion. It's it's more than and to be to have it revoked, it's a vocation. It's a vocation. And yes. everything. Yeah. yeah. And like and and some people are naturally talented, and some people learn it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going back to the castle. <laughs> it's our fifth castle round this week. I'll tell you something. I've enjoyed them. <laughs> But it is great, and we're we're looking forward to this. We really are. I mean, it's and and but but there's no live there's live music, and then there's live music, yeah. and your music is the epitome of live music. Uh, yeah. uh, don't ask me to say it again. <laughs> it's a bigger word than wheelbarrow. I don't know how to spell it. It's spontaneous. A lot of our entertainment is spontaneous, ah, and yeah. that is uh, you know the beauty of artistic creation on stage. Uh, can be a very great thing for audiences because you can go out and do the same things uh, every night you perform. Yes, yeah. But if you can uh, make it that it looks like the first time you've ever performed it, yes, yeah. it is great for an audience. Yeah, and that's yeah. well, they feed uh, off the you. talent. And despite what you think, I have got the most talalented uh, band in Ireland. <laughs> and um, <laughs> the man from Cavan here <laughs> is Come a down off the mountain, Katie Daly. Daly. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> we have seen it. We have did you ring Jim because we need an MC? If Jim can't come, could you do it? <laughs> He's talking yeah. about his organ again. <laughs> 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 well, what's in that what thing? What's in that me. I can't be serious with these people. <laughs> no, no, it's not possible. It's not possible. But sure, the after is food for the soul. Yeah. Well, listen, oh, here's man. to a string of fantastic sessions in Stockhouse. Hey, thanks and we're much. delighted yeah. to have you guys on board. Yeah. And just thank you guys. one last thing for the record I want to thank you because um, without your indeed business acumen and their, your, your contacts, uh, and your forceful value that you put on Irish music and song, we would not have the Turkey and Eggy Eggs come on. Well, thank you very much. That's great. I was exported from Ireland three times, and my only connection to Ireland were these songs. Okay. And these songs Perfect. become part of your fibre. You become even more patriotic when you're exported. Yeah. Well, we were exported 13 times last year. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get exported again. Yeah, I gave you a return ticket, dog, didn't I? Yeah, <laughs> yes. Slow. Slow to everybody.